Good morning. This is Dr. Vijay Bhaskar Nodi, Clinical Radiologist at Vista Imaging Medical Center, Hyderabad, and President of Indian Association of Cardiac Imaging, coming to you with a very important topic on this hot day. The topic is about prevention of premature CAD or prevention of stroke in young. We have seen that in the recent past, there are many young adults that is between the ages of 20 to 39 are suffering from heart attack and the statistics say that the heart attacks that occur in young individuals many of the times are fatal that means they do not even come to the hospital because of a massive heart attack that makes their heart stop immediately so let us look at what causes stroke in the young that is heart attack in the young population number one number two who are prone to develop heart attack at young age? Number three, what tests can be done to know whether these young people are at a risk to develop heart attack in the near future? And number four, how to prevent a massive heart attack? What precautions should be taken? And number five, what follow-up tests to be done to make sure that their heart vessels are doing good and they are not a risk of developing a major heart attack in the near future. Coming to the first point, who are likely to develop a stroke in the young or young heart attack? Those children of parents who had a heart attack less than 50 years of age or had a stent implanted or bypass was done less than 50 years of age, these young children are prone to develop at least three to five times more risk than other children whose parents or siblings have not had a premature heart attack. Number two, in addition to this family risk factor, the other risk factors are being hypertension, diabetes, smoking, stressful life, lack of sleep, too much of hard work. All these things will lead to a premature heart attack risk in these children whose background risk of family is already there. So there are some modifiable factors and non-modified factors. Modifiable factors are lifestyle like avoid smoking, check for hypertension, check for diabetes, don't eat fatty foods, do regular exercise, eat good quality fiber foods and good quality foods, avoid junk food, all this can be done. Non-modifiable factors are where the family history that means parents or sibling having a heart attack below age of 50 years. That cannot be done. That cannot be, and nothing can be done regarding that. So coming back to who is risk, who is at risk? These are the people who are at risk. And number two, how to identify these individuals at risk? So according to recommendations, the low density lipoprotein (LDL) lipoprotein cholesterol (LDL cholesterol) is the main culprit behind the blockages of the heart due to fat deposition. So in these young children between ages of 20 to 39, if the LDL cholesterol can be measured, then that is one marker to say that these people can develop or do not have a heart blockade at this point of time. Who should get an LDL cholesterol done? For all those people who are at high risk, like I just told you, who are at high risk for developing a premature CAD, these children after the age of 18 years, at least one time they should get a LDL cholesterol done and if this is normal then up to next three to five years no need to do a LDL cholesterol. But if LDL cholesterol is high in these children who are at high risk to develop premature CAD then every year they must get a LDL cholesterol done and then take appropriate precautions, lead a healthy lifestyle and if possible take medication to lower the lipid levels in the blood. Now, for those young individuals above 35 years who do not have a family history or who are, do not fall into high risk category of developing a heart attack, these young individuals can do lipid uh, profile or a LDL test once in a year and then maintain their lipid levels as per the guidelines given by the cardiologist. After these two, now there is what is known as CT calcium scoring which is a very important test to identify those young individuals or young adults between 20 to 39 years who develop, who are likely to develop a heart attack. 
So, in those children or young adults who are at high risk, that is, again I will repeat, family history of CAD, that means parents or siblings developing heart attack less than 50 years of age with hypertension, with smoking, with sedentary lifestyle or with stressful lifestyle or with high cholesterol or with diabetes, these individuals may get a CT calcium score done to know what is the amount of cholesterol deposition in the heart vessels and whether this individual is likely to go develop a major heart attack in the near future. If the CT calcium score is normal, then these individuals need only to follow up with lipid profile and LDL cholesterol levels and maintain a healthy lifestyle. If the calcium score is mild, again only medical treatment is done. If the calcium score is high in these individuals, then they should get a CT angiogram done to know whether there is any, any significant blockade to the coronary arteries which might create a major health attack, major heart attack in the near future. And then if there is a block, it can be treated appropriately with medication or with stent placement. So CT calcium score in addition to the lipid profile now has become the state of the art modality to investigate people who are likely to develop a heart attack especially between 29 to between 20 to 39 20 to 39 years age group these two tests are very important to tell us whether we can predict a risk of heart attack in the near future and save lot of morbidity and mortality in these young individuals now what should be done after knowing after knowing that they are they are at risk of developing heart attack what should be done approach a cardiologist or a physician for proper treatment appropriate lifestyle changes healthy healthy life habit healthy healthy uh, habits uh, healthy lifestyle and appropriate medication to control this particular increased deposition of the fat or LDL cholesterol within the blood vessels similarly for those individuals or young adults who have developed a heart attack the, the, the siblings that means brother and sister also have to be screened because they are at risk of developing a heart attack too and they must be screened appropriately and then proper treatment or management can be given. So in the Vista shots today I have tried to tell you about the most important topic and the most dangerous component of heart attack which can occur in young adults that is 29 to 20, sorry 20 to 39 years age group who are the actual uh, the who are actually the uh, breadwinners or challenging uh, professionals who if develop a heart attack will lead a crippled life subsequently and they have they'll face to lot of health issues up to the age of 50 60 so proper investigation with blood testing with lipid profile or cholesterol levels and ct calcium score on and a ct angiogram if indicated can indicate these individuals can show who are who is at risk of developing a heart attack and appropriate measures can be taken to prevent a major heart attack and to avoid a catastrophe in the family. On behalf of Indian Association of Cardiac Imaging, all of us we wish you a very happy and healthy heart throughout your life and on the occasion of the World Heart Day, again we want to emphasize that prevention is better than cure and prevention or preventive cardiology in young adults to make sure that they do not develop a major heart attack is now order of the day and let us all strive to make sure that we promote preventive cardiology in a big way and prevent major heart attacks in young adults who are the future generation of India. Thank you very much. <laughs>